Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design, I'm Dage and today we're gonna use Photoshop's Stone Clamp tool. Take a look at this. Let's use the Clone Stamp tool to connect these two edges. You can click here or you can use the keyboard shortcut S like stamp. When you select this tool, you'll get a bunch of useless and useful buttons and features here on top. I want the blend mode to be normal. Make sure the opacity is at 100% and check aligned. Now I always prefer to work on a separate layer, not on the picture itself. So create a new layer and set the sample to current and below. That way we can sample the layers below the current layer. Also I will set the hardness to 0% just to avoid sharp edges. So now I will set a sampling point on this area here and copy it there to connect this edge to this one. To set a sampling point, just hold down the ALT or OPTION key and click once on the area you want to copy the pixels from. The clone stamp tool remembers which point you sampled even if you move the cursor. So move it over the edge and start painting towards the second edge. Awesome. Remember, the cloning is happening on a separate layer that you can turn on and off. Now let's move to something more challenging, a circular shape. Now this is a little bit more complex because if I set a sampling point here and start painting I'll end up with something horrible. If I try to sample this point it doesn't work either. Yes, you got it. It's the wrong angle. And sometimes you can't seem to find the correct angle anywhere in the picture. So what do we do? Well, you have two options. One, shut down your computer and forget about it. Or two, change the angle of the sampling point. Yep, you can do that. See this cute button here? Toggle the clone source panel, activate it, and you'll get a bunch of useless and useful buttons and features here. One of them is the clone source angle. You can either enter a specific value or you can use the keyboard shortcut which is ALT or OPTION SHIFT ANGLE BRACKETS to decrease or increase the angle. So I'll set a sampling point here, set the angle to minus 70 degrees, and before I start painting, I'll create a new layer and then I'll just click and drag. Obviously it's not perfect, but since we have it on a separate layer, we can move it, we can rotate it, we can skew it, we can even create a mask and mask out some of its parts. That's cool. Go ahead and experiment with the clone stamp tool. And be creative! Use it to paint part of an image over another part of it.